Hi everybody, this is Lee, and with this video I'm just going to list out uh, the nations around the world that have universal health care. Not universal access to purchase health insurance, because that's another thing entirely. That's what we do here in the United States. In those countries, they actually have universal health care access. Um, actual access to medical procedures and doctors and hospitals and prescriptions that everyone has health care access. And so this has been managed in nations of a large demographic or population and then small nations as well. And so the excuse being made that the United States is too big and that the state of California or the state of New York or etc that's too small a population to provide this type of health care access. And so that's an excuse when you look around the world and you see that countries small and large have managed to do this. And that these countries, these nations are, you know, first world nations, they're developed, and then some are actually third world nations and they still manage to acknowledge that health care is a public good. Um, that it is uh, something that should be available to all, not just for some, and that um, it's barbaric to actually uh, withhold health care uh, from citizens. And so they figured it's they figured this out, and it's every continent uh, on the planet. Um, there are nations within that continent that have universal health care. And so I'll start um, with Africa. On the continent of Africa, Algeria, Botswana, Burkina Faso, Egypt, Ghana, Israel, Mauritius, Morocco, Rwanda, Seychelles, South America, and Tunisia. They have universal health care, something that we are still arguing back and forth over. Um, they went ahead and did it. And some of these nations, we send them foreign aid. Uh, we send them money and then we say things like, well, how are we going to pay for our health care? Because who's going to pay for it? How are you going to pay for it? And in the meantime, we're sending money to other nations that ensure and make sure that they have universal health care. To try to figure that one out. <laughs> Until you do, let's go on to Asia. Bhutan, Hong Kong, India, Macau, People's Republic of China, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Thailand. Nations big and nations small. I mean, India is a very populous nation. Um, they provide universal health care. And Sri Lanka, relatively small, universal health care. People's Republic of China, huge population. And then Hong Kong, universal health care, nations large and nations small, provide universal access to health care to their citizens. Okay, so now we're at Europe, and this is a pretty long list. Uh, Austria, Croatia, Czechs, Czech Republic, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Guernsey, Jersey, uh, Iceland, Ireland, Isle of Man, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, Romania, Russia, Serbia, Sweden, Switzerland, and the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom includes England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales, nations large, nations small, uh, have a universal health care access for their citizens, guaranteed. And um, that Donald Trump, uh, the president and head of the Republican Party, has praised the universal health care access in Scotland. And so he, even he recognizes the value of medical care to all of its citizens. And that he has actually praised um, single payer health care. Uh, let's see. On the continent of North America, you will not see the United States listed. We are an aberration. Uh, but anyway, regardless, the Bahamas, Canada, 
Costa Rica, Cuba, Mexico, Trinidad, and Tobago. These nations provide universal health care access to their citizens, large and small nations. Um, and that Donald Trump again has praised the Canadian system of health care. Uh, so he does recognize the value of every citizen being able to uh, receive health care without going bankrupt. Um, so, okay, let's move on to South America. Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Peru. Universal health care access. So if you're vacationing uh, somewhere in the Western Hemisphere, uh, or, you know, you need a medical procedure, you say, you know what, why don't I just have some fun, too, while I'm at it? Maybe one of these countries in South America or the Caribbean uh, might suit your fancy. You can book your um, hospital room and your tennis chair, if you so choose, depending on what you need, early, and um, go for what you know. Um, okay. That brings us to Oceania, and that's Australia and New Zealand. Yet again, Donald Trump has singled out Australia for their uh, universal health care access. And so that's many nations around the world who provide access to health care to all of their citizens, varying forms of universal health care access suited for their population and their political system. But they have done it, um, and that they recognize the concept of healthcare as a public good, and consider the concept of withholding Medicare or not with, withholding medical care from their citizens as a type of barbaric uh, treatment that has no place in a developed civilized nation. Um, so, first world nations and then third world nations on every continent, Africa, Asia, Europe, South America, North America, Oceania, um, consider universal health care access um, as, uh, you know, something that's along the lines of everyone having the same access to public schools, public roads, public parks. Um, law enforcement, firefighting, things like this. And so, um, not a ridge too far, not impossible. Uh, it can be done. It has been done. Um, and it could be done here. It's just a matter of getting over the hurdle of the propaganda and the false narrative. And so, uh, maybe this is one way, spreading the knowledge. Good luck.